just around again. But if you kind of look at it, it wasn't having that. We were struggling slightly. It definitely wasn't doing as much damage as it was. Looking like they want to take another fight immediately over towards short. Tense, and Tense is checking sure everywhere. Nobody walked up behind the Viper wall. Risky to try to take the pistol, by the way. One one. To catch a timing on Munchkin. Had he gone for that? Genji's approach here is quite slow. Sassy's already used one of his flashes just to let him know that Fountain was clear at the beginning of the round. But now, like here, Munchkin gaining information, peeking into John. John should see this. As you said here, with the jiggle, a little bit of damage done. But John, look, not pushed off. Yeah, John did angle. great here. So still he, information that Hooker is clear. That's gonna they, two in terms of Gen G, a. they think they just so created a question mark here, but John was just watching it the whole time the and it's did a good amount case. of damage. Still with Molly over towards here. Oh, it's a jump, Molly. Does that actually hit here? About to be set up here. Now, what's the emphasis being placed towards this A side? With the dogs straight through to Molly doing a bit of damage. It has slowed them down. They realize Showers is open. The reposition now into the back of the side. Sky Dog goes in, hits away. one far back as well. Sassy, Sassy kills the spike. Kill. Yeah, this, the, uh, the Sky Dog hit the stun and Sassy just went for it and drops the spike. Nicely done. Down. Sentinel to pistol round gained. And just in time for them. Yeah, I don't know Fantastic where the Viper Molly went. Somewhere, somewhere over towards. Completely turning the tide. Where's he over looking? The narrative in the previous yeah, maybe? match that Genji were dominating all of those important rounds, and the player to watch there was tense. He did Huge such kill. a good job. That's a fantastic play from Sassy too. But I love the wingman usage. I love the double up with Zelsis and Zekin, and making sure that they catch Meteor. To me, when I watched Genji last time playing on the attack side on Bind, the player that stood out to me was Meteor. He gets so aggressive on Cipher. Oh yeah. A little outlaw out. Here we go. Solo takes into showers. This Oi. Time with whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh my goodness, the crouch outlaw. peak. Next to meets his match, drops to the floor, and he's a killer. Bro. So you really want to be funneling into Zekin. <laughs> Bro to managed to swing line. out. Three people taking a Two shot. Granted, crouch is pretty much all the bullets, gets one, gets out. No uh no movement you tell needed. Out where John Cutie was playing in the previous round and everybody on Genji looking to group up over towards Hooker. So perhaps you know, because they found that positioning previously, they're gonna look to try to punish it. Here. Look, again, setting up, making sure the crosshairs are in the right place, but John playing a different angle. Yeah. Escapes without any danger. Good jump spot from Tens too. But Genji again, the whole pack just Roaming around here, looking for those openings. Here's Meteor. Uh oh. Talk this guy up. Yeah, and John wants to reasons. protect the gun. He's off the chart and he can just solo open. Oh man, up. that was a headshot. Cool that was, if he got that off, that was a kill. Big jewel. Hey, tell you what, still not too bad from Genji in terms of damage. Two armor. I mean, two gun rebuys. And then armor now. Spotted. Ten's holding position, just waiting for these reinforcements to come through. It's looking fairly clean. Nicely done from Sentinels. Two HP? Not bad. Tens building up yeah, if you're Genji, you're uh, relatively happy anyway. Do the right damage. Which could be a massive ultimate to work with. I think this is the dangerous side, actually, for Sen. When I was watching them play this composition against Heretics, bearing in mind that we've only seen them play it once, they've really adjusted their defensive setups, or at least did in that game. Whereas previously, when they played the Yoru, they were focused heavily on showers and B-Long. We saw much heavier focus towards Hooker, sure, on defense. Seems to be a return to that, right? It seems to a little okay, bit... One person can get body shot, but the initial pressure of so just having the outlaw game out game means that we get a Bulldog, Bulldog, Guardian, Guardian. This defensive setup, for example, right, because everyone's got to pretty much prioritize the heavy armor against this gun. And, more similar and to what they've done so it at least has impact in terms of all the guns classic. they're buying. I was talking about, I mean, the guy just likes to go walkabouts. Solo plays towards showers. He tries to play off the timings as well and noise that the rest of his team makes. Second as and well. Enough money if he wants to buy an op next round. Individually. I think that's one of the reasons that Sen will have picked this and felt confident about it too. Genji's map pool is just outrageously good. But this is probably down towards the bottom. If they're able to recover here and put up an X might just be the goats. Who knows? Let's see. Oh, the Molly goes here to stop the flood out or punish people sticking there. Beacon and Molly's cross map Molly from John on this one. Damn, look at the utility. 
Not too much of a problem just yet, as long as they do slow it down and pick off these remaining players around. Sassy, back at the site, Ghost, winning it, but now just facing all together. Still Real doing pretty good damage on this one, we've now got two people that can get one shot. Has to plant here with three mm. HP. And he's a nade as well, yeah. Is he ever going to feel comfy to do it? I mean, that will kill. Oh, that was the only person who could take the hit. That's so unlucky. The only person still alive that could take the hit. I'll tell you what, nice damage done from Sentinels. I feel a little bit uh, unlucky in terms of thinking they could win it, but... Uh, Judge Armada, thank you for the eight months as well. Appreciate the prime. Genji's economy is not going to be in an amazing spot here, you know. Guardian Bulldog coming into the next one. A death, sorry, bro. I love this decision to fight back sight. It was Must be used to it by now, though. From Genji, but a nice call. And sends defensive setup again. Okay. There's uh, three people that can buy next round. That's it. Quite different from the last time they played against Heretics. It certainly does. It's time to be split. Waiting out the molly, and Texture's just not scared at all. Look at this guy, wide facing. Not worried at all with the wall was down. Plenty of angles left and waiting. Flash through there, getting the acknowledgement. Tens, what is the call to be made? They, they are really just out wide and open. If this wall goes down... I was going to say, what do they do? Do they exit on them? Because the wall's about to go down. Hey, that's nice. Flash wingman. Lucky's done good. Dog might kill him. Dog does kill him. That was a trailblazer kill. I just saw filling up the feed, but the spike dropped down. Texture. We'll seek to reclaim this one, and all this action has happened with still a minute left on the clock. What is Munchkin's call here? Zelsis is still waiting over by showers, expecting them to use that teleport, because Sentinels have lost B-Long control. Love the play from Sassy. No more Tens. util over towards the site. All well, they got is the Warn. Afterwards with the wingman. But it still left things in an even scenario. There's a lot up to John. This is still looking like they could take the teleporter, but Munchkin's getting Dude, into he has a nade and a molly. Position. I'm a little bit worried for him. 30 seconds Only left. Now assuming I actually think they would think they're offsite here. Try and exec themselves into this site. Here it is. They might not Munchkin use their we'll send it flying. That's just a block nade here. CT exit and entrance still the face, and the fight is called Munchkin. A lot more left to do now here with only a few seconds left. Removes the seeker. It was pesky in his face. A bit of a problem, but again... Five miles away as well. You have to go for a kill. Of nowhere, yeah, and no well handled. The two players over towards site did really well, especially Sassy. Sassy played this good. Taking first contact. Managed to get a kill as well, and then John played after. Yeah, Sassy really played well here. What Sassy has been doing on this team in this new version of Sentinels has been purely supportive. Yeah, you it's as a thing. It's not like I mean, he gets a kill for the stats, but it, the stats don't really like explain just how well he played this. This is just a one for one in theory, but like this is good, enables his team, and then he just dies and like just plays enough time. With the reclear, with the swings as well, shutting down Genji. And all of that economic damage that Sentinels did on the bonus now really paying dividends. Stacking up. So Lackey are taking a hit on this one. It's fast, long take. We've got a Molly coming in. There's the Molly. And it's a different Molly than normal. They have a Molly that heavier leans over towards the right. More like a half and half. They've got their own lineup with that. Team to back him up right behind him here. Classic playbook of Gen G. Just contacting in, hoping that they can take a fight and trade it out if it goes poorly. Sassy. He's the one to watch for here, and look at that texture. Who I swings mean, like that for that angle? Shots fired and rattled, but there it is, Celsius returning. A few of his own, the spam battle won out, or at least evened out. Evened out, and Munchkin is looking to try to take this timing down short. He's posted himself in an aggressive position. Second and ten. Keep an eye on this duel over towards short as well. Maybe good time. Oh, he missed it. Oh, he missed it. Still walking to the molly. How finding all of these kills are on the A side already? That is ridiculous. I thought Tenzin Zekin had the awareness that Munchkin was there and Zekin close. he ends up getting caught as well, so giving away his positioning. He's going to have to pull out heroics to get this. It's looking awesome for Genji. Yeah, it doesn't do anything there. Genji doubled up. Almost every position accounted for. Sentinels. Yeah, decisions be made for. Davin? Oh man, Genji's loving that. Brutal decision that they have to make in this spot. Get 3,000 on top of this one. Huge for them. Tenz, Celsius. Sassy Munchkin well. one way from his ult, Karen as well, on his ult, Lackey has ult, they're in a really good spot still. It felt still. very similar though to that eco round that ended up swinging things when the score was something like 8-8, eight, 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 you know. 
I think it was round 17, actually, yeah, yeah. on Breeze, where Munchkin tucked under underneath window. Yeah, what's going on? Is, it, is this every other stream? Is this me again? Like, what's going on move. <laughs> What, <laughs> what are the jitters it? about? This is similar again. There's a distraction play over towards B, every and stream. Munchkin gets into position. This opener is lovely, but I think what actually ruins them... Oh, that's brutally... Just How would we know? Do people got more streams open? This is the play that I think wins the round for them. Munchkin finds the timing to be able to punish Tens and opens up the A site for his team to rotate. Sen have been aware of that. Edamondo, thank you so much for the six months. Appreciate you. Thank you, thank you. And Sko as well. Good to see you here, bro. Thank you for the 11 months. Appreciate the prime. Flips the economy on its head. But actually, Genji, you're taking two Guardians into the round. Three okay, so two hero guns for Sentinels, and they decide to go aggro with both of them. Four people, so they can pick them up. <laughs> Bro, he did so good. Sassy on 45 does pick up the gun, and John coming over to pick up the other gun. Yeah, I like the idea here, but man, he did great. Respect. Yeah, he's not having any of it. They get a plant here as well, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Texture gets his ult with that plant as well, so that actually really does matter into this big buy round. And I also said earlier that when I think about Gen G, I'm thinking mainly about Texture, Garon, Meteor being the three powerhouse players. When Munchkin Oof. is finding plays and finding moments and winning duels like this, I truly believe this team's unbeatable. Yeah. Because it adds that Damn. additional layer. Munchkin ended up top fragging on map one. He destroyed them last time these two teams played split. It's been outrageous in this tournament. Doing it again Massive now. buy round. Sentinels are two away from an ult. And yeah, Genji have so many ults that they want to go aggro. They go for a... Kind of go for a pinch. They just fight over towards heavy B. I liked it though. Dizzy over the top swing out. They managed to get the uh, brim ult out of them as well. Damn, this was really good from Sentinels. Didn't want to get Exact on too many ults, do their own kind of aggro play on both of these. Long just fighting behind the smoke over towards short flash over swing. This isn't a round where Genji can just try to fight quickly. They actually smoked off the teleporter at the very beginning of the round as they took sand control, expecting a crunch from Sen. But instead, it was that double up under Hookah that did the damage and put Genji in this spot. It's mid round by Munchkin. Ball to just contact all the way in. It's done them wonders still. They do have to worry about that ult. And there it is. Sent flying out to the back of the site. Like here. Pop flash play. Out and collected. All sorts of kills and damage. But then wide face of Celsius. Beautiful with the move. This is a nice try. Lucky did pretty good with the low HP with the flash. Still the guy who has his uh, all up. Plenty of options left here. Tap with the spike and then run away or? He actually might be able to tap here and use the teleporter even, but he's looking to try to take the fight instead. Trying to make a play. Every <laughs> that was this, man. What a round by Zelsis. Respect. Yeah, five merchant in the flesh. Hey, they played that really cool. That was, a, that was just a nice round in general. Impeccable Four play ults. There. And I love what Gen G Great play. Went for the awareness from this team is spectacular. They're thinking about and the, the nade as well behind it to so force them the into the open. That was great. And look to flash backside to punish the players who are going to be trying to get into the pit at that time. Love what they did, but Zelsis shuts it down. What was it? Brimmel. Position on top in heaven. Brimmel, Viper all. Was there anything Very else that I missed? Game that we have here. And texture has yet to really show his Brimmel, Viper Wait, they get all of them? They got... Whoa! There's a sky ult as well. Okay, yeah. Yep, it's second. What a shot, man. Out on top in that one here. Nade will get sent flying. Players seeking to try and plug up that gap as well. You can see them. Gen G. A swarm that position. Mosh pit does relieve that pressure, but okay. Meteor still alive and has dropped him down. Now the show's done. Burns up and abound. Zekin eventually claiming the kill. Just using a gun this time. Here it is into the site. It's Meteor. He splits it up. And as we can see right now, He's everyone's rotating. Players over towards A. Munchkin, though, instead of rotating, decides to reinforce his player. Yeah, well, they have no idea. Position. But this crossfire looks impossible to break. You break it, you just can't, surely. Well, they're worried about a bee lurk. So this might break it themselves. Ooh, no way. <gasps> they don't swing. Oh my god, he dinked him. Swings late, Meteor. He's gone for seconds, you greedy, greedy boy. Yeah, and Spot they spot both of them. They TP point. out. Now there's the call. Finally, a TP by Munchkin. Gives the and then he goes all the way back around. Oh, yeah, they're on it because the second guy didn't TP yet. 
if they double swing at the same time, they're going to be able to catch Meteor. Do they predict it? Oh, aim was just a little bit too high on this. <laughs> no, he gives another go at it. He can smoke spawn, smoke Molly. Smoke Molly pop. Oh. Oh, Molly. He's going to get vision blocked here. Yeah, and him. the good news is for him, yeah, it's such a good pawn over towards right Elbow, and the chance of him going over towards Long knowing he's against a Viper and the wall being up is a little bit less, so you would say that he is over towards Elbow. As the first point yeah, and look at them. They're looking elbow and they're looking for the round the world from elbow. Yeah, that through. was nicely done. And so basically they were looking over towards elbow and he was just diffusing the whole time. Obviously in this game can get off fast with it and they were just ready for that. So not a believer in that one. Oh, he jumps it. Bro jumps it afterwards. He did that twice. He did that on split the other day as well. Kaplan's happy about. about that one. Sen starting to pull away. Not doing enough damage to Genji's economy <laughs> just yet. <laughs> Gives a little thumbs up. But they've got themselves in a great spot. Uh, where are we at? Money-wise, must be kind of low, right? One, two. Another fight potentially here. Uh, they've one. got the read. The meteor uh, just they just one, two. Similar positions. Hey, Sassy over towards Long. Gets his orb. Gets his all online. And this is a big, big like swing round. Just making sure that they take away the camp. Don't That's why we get the Sussle over towards Long. Pit blocks off this one section of the B site. Zekun. timing. I mean, Zekun here might be looked to be bailed yeah. out by the Thrash. Yeah, you can see this setup. I like this. Contact gets a kill. Thrash goes in, insta pop, multi kills. This could just be Zekun. Actually, pretty cool. And everyone is here. Oh man, this could really Four work out. Can Zekun get the first kill? Contact. Either going to be amazing or terrible for Zen to thrash being held in the trailblazer. Oh. Here it is, Sen flying, but it's no, it's a little bit late. It's the late, it's the late, it's the late second. Oh, and there's so many people here. Only got two. Garen's just, just gets out of there. We've got to keep an eye on the lurking Cypher, by the way, while this is going on. They saw four and Cypher drops down, and it looks like they haven't started. It might have been a silent jump. I didn't quite see it. Seekers is perfect. And now he realizes they're locked out. Direction, Gen G turning and facing over towards the B side, and again, Sentinels. Meteor gets a kill, he gets his ult, but the cannon. It all is. Oh my god, where are we? And Genji handle a lot of these rounds so well. Yeah, they knew they were over towards long. Shout out to Meteor here, what a, what a hero round from him. I mean, I enjoyed the setup from Sentinels, I thought it was smart, I thought it was good. Well, it was great to be honest, but uh, yeah, that's uh, that's all Meteor just lacking. The solo play from Meteor had taken enough space to get in, and instead of doing something, so massive simple, swing rounds, like and it turned uh, it turned into a bigger swing round than I thought, just because some of the ults that were used as well. Retake, uh, Junus, thank you so much, man. Appreciate the eleven months. Thank you for the prime. This all the time when these two teams played on split. To me, one of the biggest issues was. Was there only two ults? What did I miss again? From Gen G. Official. Like there, Tens throws the wingman. Viper all. I'm gonna stop somebody from getting inside this smoke. Did I miss one? I'm gonna get into it first. And seekers, dude, I always miss seekers. It, but yeah, they did the seekers quicker. along, right? Yeah, of course. And I literally saw it. Tiny adjustments in time. It just doesn't stick in my memory for some reason. Cool idea as well from Sentinels on that short hold. It's not quite enough. Look at it as well. The extra layer of flashing through the smoke. It's just so good. And while Sen felt like they were pulling away with their win wins in round seven and eight. Wingman, you can, because his, his stun is like this, you can just sidestep it if you're close. Or if there's a wall, it won't get it as well. Oh my goodness, you do not want to be standing there. Yeah, they're expecting somebody to be playing for the orb, but nobody's won away, so. Just a hard read, perhaps, that they were going to go for that on the eco. Sassy and Ten set up to go for that re-clear down B long again. Double flash on this one. Close contact, go back, flash, flash. And flash on top of it. Yeah. Could be nice. Definitely feels like they got some nice uh, little trap plays. Sass is out wide here. It's jiggling. All that information. Trailblazer, this timing could be absolutely everything. It's broken Do up. Do they close. want to? Again, wall could go up here again. Where's they could it? use a combo. Flash, flash. 
Seems like they want nothing to do with it, does he? Flash play. That's good info. It only hit one and then they go again. back, yeah. yeah. Dizzy only shot one person. So Gen G might be thinking, right, they think Yeah, they think it's like Cypher over towards B long now. or something. One person fake over towards A. This is a nice uh it's a nice mid run call. I like this. What do they do with this call? Dog. Players over towards A, so they're coming over towards here with the sky dog. They got no early info. Cause it around to just triple up into hookah, but with Lackey not, not bad from anything. Sentinel, so they didn't pull the trigger on pushing to get info here. here. The A players a maybe said they didn't make any sign, uh, sound on sight. Open sight for them, they're not worried at all, are they? Need almost a punishment on Caron. Yeah, DRX smoke. They still managed to get a plant. That's normally hard without smoke. They get into good positions. They got a double viper molly. Don't look so good anymore. The brim is over towards sight. Post plant position is immaculate. Judge is pretty good on this map because you can retake over towards Lamp, so it's always good in the uh, rotate. Too much to deal with here for Sentinel, surely. It'd have to just. It's an absolute miracle shot. And they're already setting up and gearing up for it now. Out wide again. Probably a little crossfire. Too fast onto the approach. Inside the smokes, inside every possible option that could have been there for Sentinels and Zekin. The only thing is focused on his mind is trying to get out with that gun, but even that is denied. Oh, I'm impressed with this five team, five. dude. They're really good. Gen G. Making it nice and even here. I'm loving this attack side calling from Gen.G. I think they're playing the macro game really, really nicely. It's been one of the things I'm most impressed with with this team. This was like a lot one of, of mid-rounding though as well. This was um, this no was like an on-the-fly adjustment. No. We've seen him at global events before. But bear in mind, nobody on Gen.G has previously been in a position to do this kind of thing. They are not the creme de la creme of Korean talent, at least not until this year. They've always played second fiddle. Munchkin and Meteor were playing in Japan. They didn't even have the option to, you know, get those opportunities on top Korean teams. Lakio languishing on the bench. Texture off duelist. Karen not even a pro player, for God's sake. And every time Munchkin had turned up, there'd be a language issue and the attacks like calling didn't look very good. This team has come together with HSK prepping the roster, setting the groundwork. What just the hell? exceeded every expectation. <laughs> what the hell was that sign? And then the respect region wide. I mean, they've come knocking at multiple opponents. I've always knocked them out. Number one seed of Pacific for a reason. And it's not so much, in my opinion, that they're standing on the IGL and giants and building on what Pacific have done before. They, they look to be straight up leapfrogging them. Oh, yeah. How many times have we seen DRX and Munchkin's uh, IGL, and, and it was like in, in the old T1. Um, he Again, was IGLing Genji. some of the time What's as well. It was like Wait, a weird... Why not? <laughs> we never it's, really it's knew. Kinda they easy. kind of swapped and changed it's it a lot. Double outlaw here for Gen.G on the attack side, predicting the fact that Sen are going to be on an eco. Yeah, and they got a lot of light armors. Maybe right. It would be right. Keep smoke a slaughter bot. Thanks Thank so much, man. Thanks for saying that. Hold on to control of bathroom showers. Come towards that A long angle, but B long. I have a question entirely here because, again, walking slowly up towards it. Reactions on point for texture. Just sit through the wall. Seven. Sassy barely survives. You can't hear yourself. Very lucky for Sassy there. Does Meteor have a read that Zekin's in this corner? Zekin he should, though, right? I, I mean, there's damage done here and there's a camera. Has Zekin really no timed the camera? Else. He might have, with how Meteor's playing it here. Oh, that's why, okay. Just, well, I mean, makes a lot of sense, so. It must be for Sentinels. They see the dog go up be long, the shot's fired off towards A. Flash sees nothing. That's ridiculous. <laughs> that is ridiculous, yeah. And Sassy's leaving. And they take a gamble oh, stack with this happened? one. Molly for the top of tube. I have to see a replay of uh, that Molly one. for the right, so uh, here and here. Sold. Even further, nades, snake bite. Where's the other Molly? Full combination. The other Molly got lost, so there it is, a little bit later. John QT. Uh, FML well, thank you so much, man. Appreciate the gift. Slower bug got the uh, so got the gifted with the nice words. Down, sniffs him out. FML, thank you for doing that, bro. Brutal situation for Sen to be in. This site's so difficult to retake Lackey. Oh, body block there for a moment. Surely Flash no through the little cubby. The um, I've already seen that. Never really so works, to be honest. Sure it's weird, that little cubby, because no one's ever facing over towards the way you normally flash. Doesn't really work that well. Zekin will take the death. To be able to... Oh, the kill, sure. To be able to get his ult online for the next round. But it's just all focus on round 12 here. Um. Oh, and they're oh. just playing <laughs> with Zassi. 
Dude, I thought he was going to go for it. I really oh, did. Man. And any danger in the round for the absolute G. savages. Completely upset. They smoked the beginning showers as well. Oh, okay. Bird that makes a lot of sense as well. Over towards B long. Let's see this one. Yeah. There to go. Not lashes around. I mean, it just goes into garden, but everybody's playing an anti-flash position. I'm not sure on purpose there, really. Just happened to give terrible information. The bird disappeared without a whimper. A canary in the coal mine as Sentinels quickly did the same. Three okay, last round. Yeah, we got uh, we got some money here. We get some backup ops. Everyone just holding one, two. Where is the other one? Three. I would assume to be able to pick back up as well. And backup rifles, just in case anyone wants to go aggro. We got Zekens all, and we have Karen's all. got the ults here. Zels is one away from having an orbital strike too. All it takes is one misstep though. One opened up body, just trying to gather the information from Sentinels. One gun go picked up. Zeka again, jiggling. Meteor, eager for the fight, eager for it. Indeed. Oh, there, there we is. go. Get punished. He's going to pick up his rifle on this one as well. Dog goes Carol. in over towards Long. Didn't Locked spot anyone. Out of the picture. We have that info. Sentinels heavy rotate. Might and be able to get three people to here. And I'm surprised because Meteor saw this dog, or at least Meteor. heard the dog, at least from what I'm, at least what I thought. Hiding inside the smoke, doubled up now. They want to fly back into this one, trying to catch that timing. And here it is, doubled up high, low. Sentinels. This might be the right. That's pretty cool. Damn, Sassy did great on see. this. Big two on two. They got a razor for retake. Might have brought them a window of opportunity. Else this gets a kill. Very narrowly. Gets so. Rebounds, but I don't have to stop this one. And second still has the. Viper over Stopper towards available. long has a cubby here, and it reaches the spike. Oh my God, they got everything. Over the top. Reposition from Munchkin because the ult's here. Oh, nicely done from Zek. And... Hey, honestly, shout out to Sassy for making this one doable. Those two played it really well over towards site. Um, Lovely play from Sassy. Was he full blind there? Did a flash and it got the other guy? There was a of it. He played that really well. A series of unknowns, really, as we head into that second half or find a spike to being Sentinel's map. Do you know what's impressive about Gen G as well? Is like their mid rounding on this map is probably some of the. Maybe not the best. Like, probably the best I've seen from them. They're not, they haven't been a team where I've felt like the mid rounding's the one, but. That was actually pretty cool for them. Obviously, our global head of esports, Leo Ferreira, Madrid. One of the motives and the reasons for which we are here today is thanks to them. So I'm going to ask you a huge applause for giving them the welcome and thanks, of course, for this piece of event. That's just for you guys. So thank you for, the, for this event. Now, Anna, I want to ask you, today we just introduced a new agent to the pool. What can you tell me about them? So Clove is something we've been working on for, for a really long time. I'm so proud of the teams back at Riot. They really push themselves on this agent, both from a design perspective, creatively. I think they are so vibrant and beautiful, and it's going to do so many great things for the game. So I can't wait for everyone to get to play them next week. I thought the show match today was amazing. It was so good. Congrats to Mixwell and Team Espana. That was amazing. And yeah, yeah. Okay, we love that. Thank you very much. Now, uh, bueno, obviamente creo que lo habéis entendido, ¿no? Que tiene muchas gracias de que tengamos a Club entre los agentes, que el showmatch ha estado genial y que solo en una semana ya podéis estar probándolo y creo que va a estar muy, muy guay. Now, Leo, of course you're on the competitive side. What do you think about this gorgeous, gorgeous event here in Madrid? Oh my God, we are so happy to be here. We've been dreaming about coming to Spain for a very long time. This is our first time here. You all have been incredible hosts. Thank you so much for embracing VCT. We love you. Um, this is just the first event of the season. There's a lot of VCT to come in 2024. We're going to jump straight into stage one. And um, we're so happy to be here. So thank you all again. Nos da las gracias por las gracias por estar aquí por ser tan acogedores. Esto para los que no habéis hecho el workbook, pero la verdad que lo estáis haciendo genial. Obviamente todavía nos queda todo el stage y todo lo que queda por llegar en 2024. Recordad cuanto cuanto más ruido hagáis, más conscientes serán de lo que necesitamos estos eventos en España. Pero obviamente esto no ha terminado, así que seguimos con el partido. Yes. Do you love a bit of crowd work? 
Yeah, let's go straight into it. Leo, it's better. Okay, chat. It's better to have someone that is open and speaks a lot to us instead of the opposite of just complete silence. And they do actually listen to. They do actually listen to like the feedback. So. As much as as much as it can suck sometimes, some of the decisions that are made. Um, it's better than it's better than the other way around. I promise you. Feeling the heat now and the pressure from that one. Bundle of util be going to be used. Trailblazer holding his ground just for a moment. Baits it out the shots, but he does get the info that he was after. Oh, Tens taking the ult up there when I think he was aiming to pick up. Wingman. I'd be happy with both. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oops. Sorry, guys. I accidentally got my ult so early. Uh, honestly, I think they wanted to pick that up. With their defensive rotates. This is such a key thing when you watch them. All people they here right now. Like early info, spaces. early info. Genji going now, with the Aper X 4 1 pistol. That starts to pull texture away. But only for a moment. He realizes there's nothing following it. And they, they how do they break the trip with her? And stay on B. I don't. Seconds. It's so difficult to sell a fake against these guys. 30 seconds left. But I think Sen have just about managed it. The B control. And 26 and seconds on this. 20 seconds. They go over towards the right side. There's a, there's a small window for me to, to make a hero play. But. He's playing deep tucked inside that smoke. And he could again. Be the difference maker. Guarding. And doesn't want to chance anything. Wants to play with the numbers. Uh, no, I mean, Celsius has a molly. Celsius has a molly and he goes into after plant pause. That's about it. Into the smoke, Nate flushing him into the back of the side. He is down and low, but hopefully a heal online. Potentially there still. Need to hold down onto this ground here for Sentinels. In through lamps and Gen G, they are methodical in the nature. The way that they approach. They've got one cage if they want to block vision and diffuse. These tiny little details flooding now. Front of the site, shots found and kills finally online. Molly's coming in a little late. Oh my, it's close. Has he bought them time enough potentially for Genji here with two players left? Lakia! The orb, at least there! Another kill! Fouls! And out! And defended! You're joking! What? What? No way though. From the first Masters event, coming out here in the most recent Lakia. So clutch! These shots are unbelievable yeah. towards the end. From Bro has to do everything. Oh my, that is outrageous, man. Lucky himself said in a recent interview with Pedro Romero that his biggest mistake in his career was joining DRX, then known as Vision Strikers, after having that success in his first Masters event. That is gold. Yeah, imagine that. Gold. And now... He's overtaken that team that he ended up joining, having more success here in a grand finals. Potential off the charge for Sentinels. Beats you. Oh wide. my god. Oh, look at the volley, the damage all combined and collected. Rouled into it. Gen G obviously favoured. He's got the spike and he's in their spawn. It's a weird one. It is a really strange one. Actually, if Karen ends up going down, although I don't see how he possibly could. Not with the judge, surely not. I mean, never. But the A site would be open, and there is simply no okay. way. Just understands the timings inherently. All left on Zekin. That was good from him, though. He could have got timed over towards Short. Made from his teammate, second. Earns himself a plant at least here. Really, shouldn't be any opportunities for him to win it out. It'd have to be a bundle of mishaps and mistakes here from Genji to really topple this one. So. These are just the consequences of Genji winning a beautiful pistol. Yeah, and it's like two armor rebuys, one gun. Two eight. Yeah, must be on for this. He's now only two away from getting seekers online. They know that Karen saved the judge into this as well, so might anticipate him being positioned over to Hooker for the next. Normally, that's going to be Munchkin's job, defending onto Hooker. And when I was watching Genji playing Pacific on defense, they loved to push, not in a coordinated early round manner. But just looking for those mid-round timings, trying to abuse the fact that on bind, teams don't tend to be as spread across the map, watching everything all the time. Of course, Sense Comp doesn't have the cipher to be able to rely on. Those trips are not going to be there in market, so if anybody finds the mid-round push timings, they're good for it. And it is Munchkin looking to cover Hooker, while Karen picks up short. 
Rush goes down long. Did get dodged. Sentinels. What the? Clearly aware that Munchkin likes to play that aggressively. Yeah. I think this okay. side is where we've that. seen weaknesses from Munchkin before, but he also loves to take fights so much that if he's on fire as he has been today, and he was in their last match, he could easily be... The live slow-mo, yeah, and build up the tension. Oi, 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 oi. Not again, though. Rapidly, at Dude, bro, this has to be me, chat, right? Wasn't in condition for their team, in fact. Oh! Like okay, chat, I'll, I'll fast-forward it after this. This is my internet. This is like it's my internet. The judge wasn't in hookah. Where else is it gonna be other than short? Now they're walking right into a car on. Two ten eighty. Yeah, I might. Too much util. The doctor's in clear, but he does break it anyway. Kill trip. Lands a shot. Good adjustment in the end, but tense does return that fire. And our flash blinded. Texture still. Oh, he is such a pretty good nade. Really good nade. Forces them all the way back. It's a massive kill. Three people here. Potential pivot. Hill trip is still alive. Wait. He means. What is the call to be made? Yeah. Maybe. This crossfire is way too strong. Guns not though. Yeah, nicely handled on that. Just nice to handle. Okay, let me do this chat. Just have such an immaculate read. Every position, every scenario, it's all accounted for. It's these defensive rotations again, Brent. Genji is so far ahead of it. Send them that they've got the timing to be able to go through the teleport like that. Genji have already got Meteor not just over towards B, but Jesus. Crossfire. With Munchkin. As beautiful little bait like that. I can let himself be seen first. <laughs> for God's sake. You would call it over -rotating Bro, how far behind so were we? No, 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 guys, don't go fast, go slow. We're a whole round behind. Okay, now we're fine. Oh, chat, what am I doing? Chat, someone, someone with more info than me, what am I doing wrong? What a time to come alive here for Sentinels. Much needed, much anticipated now. Texture. To just F5 and just leave it. Holy, bro. Much needed, much anticipated now. Texture. Like two FPS, man. There we go. Back to all of them, chasing them down, hunting them down. Sassy. Chat, give me the Twitch, man. Give me the Twitch, I'm done. Even more offloading the seekers. Why not a winnable spot, a winnable position? Caron, all alerted to the presence, but he picks up the rifle almost with the pre fire. Still two versus four. Spike has to get planted here, so Sentinels will at least earn that. Look at this crap, man. On Sen, inside lamps. It's a really unusual post plant position. Gaps to be played within. Sentinels cannot let this one slip, not after losing. Previous gun round. All right, chat. We need we need to we need to accept this for a little bit. Stick with me for just two seconds. The, the Twitch is way there. Texture. Last one left. Last one alive through the box. Nade earned again. But tucked, hiding away from the position. It sends was trying to play this one just with a little bit of intelligence. And John gets that information. And a shot done from to the them. Head. Thrifty here. Mastercard. Well earned. All right. Let's accept that one's done, man. I don't give me that, man. One. Need to get to Icebox. Incredible shots being hit there, and Sassy on fire here on by. We expect to see those a little more, I think, from the Gen G players. But here it is. I don't know. I don't know if the sounds higher or lower, but we're working out. Not lower. He's got himself onto a really nice forward angle. Spotting out this operator is going to be. Key and essential here for Sentinels, but they don't have anything concrete to clear it out. Look, even a dizzy just clears it. Jump spot from second was really out wide, but even at that space. Do I? Gen G putting such a heavy premium on control of just both B long. I turn it down my end. Let me let me see. Got the cam set up. Munchkin willing to hold it down. Yeah, and they've actually not really heard much on either side. Caron goes for the gamble over towards B. Interested. Munchkin. Munchkin didn't quite find 
The timing to take a duel, but he's now tucked in a position, gonna get cleared by that flash. Yeah, certainly should be. Zekin. Honestly, that is the right decision. Gets out of there. Well, dude, this round is actually massive. Immediately over towards A. So there's still three players defending this. Only 30 seconds roughly left here. Moshpin sent flying over the top now as well. That's a nice utsil, man. They got three here. To his own devices. Spill up for the rest of his team here with only 25 seconds. That's a spike top down on top of it. Needs to be heroics and it needs to be masterful play at that Munchkin. Almost going down to the stray satchel, but it matters not. Overwhelming aggression from Gen G. Full lockdown in approach and play. And seconds dwindling down to nothing. It's Gen G up to 10. Yeah, and three of them can't buy here, but they can get a drop if we save this. Um, feels like these kill trips are doing a lot. Feels like the kill trips here are doing, like, they just get too many people stuck over towards here. They fought almost even before Meteor was taking contact from the Like, they might just need John to just start. Go in a bit more aggro to break these with the wall. They're looking to try to fight them in short. They mollied off showers as well, so Zekin couldn't help. They picked that apart and fought aggressively. There's a really interesting quote from HSK actually during another interview where he said that Genji tries to make the plays that other teams would hesitate to make. That's a very conscious thing that they've come into this year trying to do. We are going to try. Yeah, it's just a low buy but exactly this low buy is actually not you. too bad right now. Oh so my goodness. Well here, got Raze all over towards site as well if they want it. Look at the rotates, Brent. Look at the rotates. Molly for long. Less than 10 seconds into the round, and they're planning to five stack B. Second showstopper. Lucia they have no idea. Oh. Blinded. Snaps <laughs> it. Sentinels. Found an advantage, but it's about converting yeah, and they kind of realize there's a few numbers here. They got to go back, man. I'm telling you, these the these two trips are wrecking the them, man. The rotate through the teleport, wrecking them. A play to open up the A site for a free plant. They found themselves that Dude, that flash. Now, the 10's flash the just came in. I see handle. I, I like the idea from Genji. I like the calling as well from Sentinels. Just go in silent, make sure they uh, they just cut sound. Yeah, what is that flash, man? Just blinds Lucky oh, so one right. HP. Yeah. Well, he was one HP, I think, after he went okay. through the Viper Wall yeah. as well. Yeah, so just... But still, caught down extraordinarily low. And the crowd here behind Sentinels, willing them forwards. They're not easy rounds at Sentinels. Everyone. Already. They're not at all. Again, Genji had five players B. That's fast, though. Second. It's in front of the Snake Bite as well. A little bit of damage, almost a kill onto Lucky. It's good damage. It's going to be permanent. There's no heal online. At least he can't heal himself. Now the trial plays are for the reclear Munchkin. You oh, they're so, they're so aggro down. right now. Yeah. And these are the times when Munchkin ends up getting punished and it's looked rough for Gen G. We haven't seen very much of it. Munchkin's been playing a superb game, but that's the kind of stuff that was happening in Pacific. You'd imagine a timeout after this. They're like trying to... Three so because so they have low well. low flashes, the they're try, like, trying to make up for that with bodies and so I think they can around. relax a little bit. Gen would do another exploration. They've got Good news for Sentinel is a lot of ults ultimate. into this uh, next round though, if they can matter. get this. The more they let the time click, yeah. the more that those ults could just win it for Gen G. John's just waiting for the fuel here just to prop both of it up, make sure he can clear This is good though. This is a big win for Sentinels in terms of just finding these as well. They've been here for a while. We've got a kill trip over towards site. They have a Razor. Still a Spike. 30 seconds still over towards Long. Noise pressure on either side. The TP rotation is now cool with 20 seconds left. Guess what? He still has a raise nade. What about gone now? What about Caron Zol? Yeah, it's not really going to be. Yeah, they got to go. They got to go fast on this one. Oh, goes over to Long, but he plants default. John, one kill away from his ult. We've got to keep an eye on uh, Lakia going for a flank. Punish for it. At least recognizing send the weaknesses of their own. Celsus has his own ult and a molly. Back out. Celsus got ult. So advantage. Now for Jen. G here with the ult. That's the first tab, but he's waiting for the second point. Carrot pass on them. Carrot pass onto him. Already approaching. He didn't commit. Position, he just has to let it rip anyway before anybody even taps. Gen G. So oh my god. They won their jewels out as well. Okay, timeout is for sure coming in. 
The tension in those kind of rounds when it gets down to a post plant is palpable. Sentinels were so close to major ults getting online. And I think if Zelsis hadn't found the kill to be able to get his up, there was all the chance in the world that that round was going towards Gen G. Tens with two gorgeous kills towards the end. Off the back of the Dizzy. And Gen G forced to take a timeout. Their first of this map. Frankly, it might be the first in the match that we've seen. I'm not sure whether they threw one I in mean, on Breeze. Certainly yeah. a this is literally just, uh, guys, we don't need to take risks with bodies anymore. Calling for that timeout, cool down in the play here, because this is Sentinels. They could they also change up the Cypher, yes. but... Here and there, a couple of the half has been rounds, getting him a lot in my mind. But that was, you know, full-on gunplay occurring. Remember, though, that this should be the map where Sentinels are the most favoured, and they're still behind by one round. Yeah. Even though they're favoured in the next, due to the Lil bro, I mean, yeah, he did good planning. It's not clean sailing here, not by any means. Genji fighting for every inch of this. Not willing to give up any of these maps that they so carefully selected. Robinino, thank you so much for the prime. Thank, the thank you, thank here, you. I think it's going to be due to it's going to be about those defensive rotations. They've been stacking the opposite site to the lurk. So when John QT goes and puts pressure and breaks that trip, if it doesn't feel like an exec down short, they still keep players on B. And this time, John Why didn't QT text the space Nade when he was here? Over. I honestly so think because they the double satchelled. I think he was going to, but they double satchelled and he was here just too early, so he messed up his timing with the nade. And coming up with a slight variation I think I, I think that's what you're talking about, unless you're talking about over towards here, where I'm pretty sure they thought that the plant was in there or it stopped it. Uh, DJ as well, DJ Terrio, thank you so much. Oh man, guys. I mean, it's an eco, so I can't get too angry, but they got to uh, they got to relax on bodies to get info. Nice and done. Not against the weapons. God, I feel like honestly, just a camera to spot long at the moment would help them so much. Was this an eco though? Sentinel's a lot of money after this one. Able to be put online a couple of rounds ago. Where Zelsis Orbital Strike made all the difference. Now look at them. Huge tools available to send. Oh, there's a lot of them. Yeah. It will knock the Gen G economy once more. Yeah, I mean, it would be 12. Which Gen G had Same trip's been getting him so much. We'll Camera deep over towards Showers. Gen G just churning them up now. The stack, three players over towards B to start, and Karen in a very committed yeah. position. This time, Lackier just throwing, throwing his flash in instantly, out. but this is kind of the issue with the flash over towards here. It's like, cool, we know they're long, but do they actually gain enough into it? Like, like should they not be saving their flash? Yep. And second follows it up. Seekers towards long, fish on top of it so you know where to go. Is eager for the engagement, even more so, spots it out, Munchkin. First one to four, fills up that feed for them nicely here. Get over towards Sai and yeah, Viper ult to cover all of this, keep an eye on the TP, they obviously know about it because it makes the sound. Sassy, finally planting, elbow control for them on top of that, it's Hooker. They didn't plant though. They're still getting it down now, and Genji are taking elbow control in the meantime. My work against them because it has cut off these angles and a good uh -oh. contact. They're all in there. With the flash as well. On top of it, it comes down to Where are we, man? What's going on? <laughs> it was such a valorant round. That was nice though. The overwhelm with the ults was too much. They comboed it really well. Seekers over towards long fish orc over towards Sukra. Worked out where to go, double smokes in, and the important kill is this one. As soon as they got this kill, it's done. Yeah. Yeah, and nice, uh, nicely done from Sentinels in terms of the amount of ults. Realizing if they win this, they get it to 12. Well, most likely. Bucky, Guardian. Oh, Long is getting so punished, man. That's play just going their way. Yeah, that's what you need. You need to keep these anti ecos clean for Sen. If you want them to start building up, because Gen G are super dangerous in these kind of moments, you cannot count them out. They're so apt to take risks in these rounds that have paid off well in the series so far. Completely ignoring who can. It's a smart call as well. You don't want to walk into those shotguns, but the trips close will cause some issues here. Double push. And Celsius has just used all three of his smokes. One of them is the Guardian. 
Gooka, so they've got to commit while oh, they're going to flash push into this? Yeah, over. someone needs to call the trip the on that. Nicely handled. Nicely handled. Money doesn't really matter for them. Sassy two away from his ult. feel it on the precipice of getting that 12th round here. A critical map in the juncture that is this series. Could just let Sassy farm this. Yeah, you can see him going aggro. He was aggro over towards here. Yeah, even the death is worth. Yeah, they just they just wanted the death here. Now they're one away from the ult. That was good from Sentinels. They're always pre-planning ahead for the next one. You can see the motor mouth popping off there. Just going to save and take this time to address with his team what the game plan is once rifles get online in round 23. Because this is crunch time. Gen G need two in a row to just drag this to overtime. And they do not seem happy with the idea that Sen are going to be able to win on their map pick. There is still a chance for Gen G to get back into this one, but these recent rounds have all gone the way of Sen. A reminder, though, that they did it by using ultimates. Even here, Zekken pops the showstopper to be able to get into B. So, Genji, do they actually need an adjustment? Oof, another timeout. Not just the same Why not? for Munchkin to talk. Now a timeout called, the second of the map, to allow their coaches a bit of input too. But, Bren, what I'm saying here is, yes, it's been five in a row for Sentinels, but crucial but rounds have been stressful. Ultimates. Yeah. And Sen do not have out. access to those anymore. I mean, they're one away from getting Seekers back up because Sassy is frying. But I think Gen G's game plan has not necessarily been the issue so much as them fighting an uneven war. Well, finally, there's going to be a bit of that parity. Even guns on Gen G's side. Sentinels running out of those ultimates. I think you are right. I mean, you're right on the money in terms of just talking about the game plan for Gen G. It hasn't really been going amiss. They've just been getting ran over, steamrolled almost by just that, that sheer alt economy that's just been churning, generating constantly for Sentinels, but it has run out. And Gen G have to put a stop to it here if they want to stop. Maybe. Sentinels Do um, there, <clears throat> Sentinels now yeah. maybe go heavy We're for uh, Orb? Running out, but Sassy could certainly play for the Showers Orb here. It looks like yeah. Sen... Looks so like they go double, double satchel with the flash. Magic, and they, they honestly might catch Meter out here. with the camera. Be online, what have you got Let's see. Sleeve. He should be able to camera get around the corner, though. Ooh, didn't go for the double satchel? Okay. Flash goes over towards long, doesn't hit. He's been, putting them, he's been putting that there a lot, though. Yeah. They've already seen that in a couple of post-plant situations. Sen are going to know. It could trigger some kind of showers crunch, though. So they've got to be a bit cautious. Look. Tens, Zekken, ready to punish the players that might come through the teleport using Sassy as bait. And now they walk forward, get yeah, Seekers online. Yeah, Seekers. Texture. Dog goes out over Close. towards Long B. Heavy rotate Dog. coming in. Not even a rotate. Munchkin is fast behind. Munchkin is pushing out through sand. Yeah, Munchkin. and there's a lot going on. This at least in the qualifiers. It could be a punishable I was going to say, this would be one of those rounds it, where if you go too far here, you're trying to win the round too much. Sometimes the information is enough so you can... Keep the full passing oh, stack. Tiny, tiny window. These are slow rotates. Second, though, making a little bit of noise. Munchkin's going to make the call. Look at these rotates from Gen G. All come in, beating the rotate. No way. Yeah, Getting look at this. Four passing stack. Munchkin has not Must have heard the uh, running. Sure that he just feeds the info his team needs. And what a call this is. Gets the hell out. 30 seconds. This is going to Ollie goes in from here long as well. Straight into the more out wide. They're not expecting it. Genji players holding their ground, rooted and snared into place, but they're willing to just fight tooth out <laughs> No way Lackey got away down. with that play. He jumps Nobody into the cubby and gets out. Bro, they had such a chance there as well. They started hitting shots at the end. Nicely done for Meteor. Yeah, what a call. He had that. Must have had the people running from them back here. All throughout Pacific. Often getting punished for them, but played this one to perfection. Yeah, I, I love the fact that when he was pushing, he decided to like not go all the way. That, thinking, how on earth, yeah. when we were fairly quiet the whole way over towards B and had made noise throughout showers, how did they get the read? How did they know? Let's go, let's go. 
incredible play from Munchkin without really even popping up on the kill feed. Last timeout. All just based on getting that deep positioning and hearing the footsteps. It's like three timeouts in the space of four rounds. A Diacarbonara, thank, thank you with the four months. Appreciate the prime. Thank you, thank you. And just push the very boundary of what you can get away with. Yeah. In a round that now makes this feasible that we could be heading to overtime. Yeah, Viper Bit's still here, right? That's why calling this time out here. It's the last one it, it was got. very nice from Munchkin as well. It's, it's like, he, so he had, I think he heard one rotating, so knew they were coming back. And then it's like, just calls the rotate over, and he doesn't pop his Viper ult, right? Most people there would be tempted to pop his Viper ult, but then they're kind of like, then that's like giving up the fact that you know that the, the stack is here. Or that they're coming back. So the fact he held on to the Viper ult really makes them think that their original pressure over towards A is like kept at least three here. When in fact he's just playing for the fact of four people here. So it's like sometimes what happens is there's like a stack here and people use too much util to actually like stop them coming in. This was more just like we want them to run into the four person stack so I'm not using the Viper ult. So I'm glad I saw that. It was nice. The Viper ult that bounces off the wall goes through the window. A main choke, and he is going to layer it down. He needs to be defended in time. But here's that showers fight. Molly drop down. Tenji they push walking. forward. Tenji walking. Tenji walking, but losing the fight. Initially, it's up to Lakia. Hold it down oh. and stand as a He didn't check the corner. Comes up huge. How did they get the two on short? Getting away with murder. It just flips in an instant. Genji not happy to just sit inside the pit. Pushed outside of it. Managed to get a kill. Two, two kills, short. yeah. I need to see that replay. Did they Outrageous really just dry swing? From Munchkin and the Gen G coaches coming out of Sen's tack timeout. And now funneling the final two survivors straight into these trip setups. I mean, this just looks absolutely brutal for Sen to deal with. Dire, dire, dire straights. Not only the trips, you've got to worry about Karen's ult delaying. Good news for them is they're going to walk close and see the trips. Bad news is Cameron's going to spot them early. Do they 180? Out wide, there won't be any punish onto these trips, but they're not going to walk into it anyway. It's just concealed, but that TP through Munchkin. They just know. got to read. I mean, they just know now with the camera spotted it all. Oh, God. Lifts them up. Spike went elbow. They ate the flash as well. Nicely <laughs> handled from Genji. Dude, what on earth went on here? Did they really just Let's dry again, swing out of their ult? Oh. At 12 11. There's a perfect example. I mean, oh, they heard the reloads. <laughs> Let's look at this for starters. Um. And Celsius trying to hold the push and just got minced. Tense as well, not realizing that Lucky was in the corner, despite the fact that he caught a little bit of chip damage. But for me, Oof. that final moment where Munchkin just comes. All right, there's 30 seconds left. We haven't seen them over towards A at all. They've got to be taking B. And they just. It's a crazy. It's, a, it's crazy to do. On, uh, not worried 11, about the fact that 12, yeah. They just took the timing, man. They had the time. They had the reload. Trust the read. Something that. Right here. A lot of the coaches. Like it was more. Well, I mean, yeah. Defending champs. Potter and EG talk about that all the time. Trust in your gut. And I feel like no team embodies it more at the moment than Gen G. Yeah, full committal into the calls that are being made here. But the sides are swapped around now. Opening a round of OT. Meteor. Oh. Gonna go with this one here. Cam. Hey, just go fast over towards short. That's a huge kill. Yeah, dog clears all of this as well, but they get all of sight. What is the call now for Gen G? That's a nice TP. I yeah, get the heal out as well. Still no plant yet. Here and taking control of the defense spawn seems like a good idea. But Genji don't Still no to it plan. Just yet. Now Karen's got one smoke to play with. You can smoke off heaven, you can have somebody watch over towards pipes, but they're not making a decision here. They're slowing down and they're kind of trapped. Waiting for Munchkin. <laughs> this is weird, man. It's, it's such a weird way of playing it. Pretty cool. Uh, it's just all hinging on this, isn't it? Off angle at that. I just don't see. How I mean, I don't see him. This. I was gonna yeah, say, I just don't yes. see Munchkin ever getting that kill. I see them from tens. It's weird though because they don't know where Genji are. They could be all the way up heaven, all That's sorts of. Yeah, spots. and with that, you would kind of, of think that they're over towards Hooker. Right into texture, but he wasn't waiting for it as a trade attempt. But Carol, he will fall too. Everybody yeah, nice, nice and patient Sentinels. from Sentinels. Definitely a unique way, way of playing it from Genji. Didn't pay off. If that duel towards long goes the other way, we're probably calling them geniuses. Because, I think, if Tense doesn't get this kill, it goes the other way. These three then have to over-rotate into the three that are waiting on site. Like, if this kill is different, we're calling them geniuses, I promise you. 
Um, Very good Fantasia patience. shot. Thank you so much, man. Concept. Appreciate the seven months. Navi Masters after seeing Clove. They probably they will use it, yeah. Angel will actually enjoy it. Okay, Sentinels. Another go at it. One flash over towards Showers doesn't hit anyone. It's an uphill battle almost all the way through. Find is a necessary component that they need to take away. Olivora as well with the Prime. Thank you so much, dude. Yeah, probably, man. Feels like a must win. What? This guy in big rounds, man. The two best players, arguably, on Sentinels, put down like nothing. Finds that timing before the utilities used. And the Perfectly. spike. This is gonna get scrappy though, because they want to oh, fight what? over the spike. They're not content with just playing the numbers okay. advantage. Ash is willing to join them, but he has cut off that angle. Good TP. Oh, they handled this well. Nicely done from John, yeah. And they got the spike though, they hit double TP, so they, they know they're all there. Wait, they handled this really well. Two people held, they got close, dog went in, went through the TP. Not bad at all. It was a, it was a really good call, yeah. Put his wall up so they could kind of pinch into this. Where we at kill-wise? A rare mistake as well from Gen G. They Here haven't got is. the plan down. Sassy hears Whoa. the noise cues, but he just pre-fires and guesses incorrectly. The gamble not paying off still. Not willing to give up. Oh boy. Poor guy. Oh, in the oh, he gets a kill, he gets his ult. He killed 2v2, running and gunning to just retreat and cover that section. Now the defuse. Meteor sticking, sticking, sticking all the way. Spray down half earned. <laughs> Dude, they played it so well. Sentinels. They played it so well. Nice, uh, nice mid round from John here. Sick round from Zelsus as well, he did good. Oh, great 3v5 though, that was cool. It was sick map, dude. So the elation of the crowd sent a grueling win for them.